Imagine an AI so advanced, it's changing the game in ways we never thought possible. Now picture that same AI coming straight from China and beating industry giants like OpenAI and Google. Sounds unbelievable, right? But it's real, and it's called Janus Pro 7B by DeepSeek. Today we're diving into this revolutionary AI model that could completely reshape how we generate images and interpret visuals. Stick around because this is a trend you don't want to miss. So why all the buzz around DeepSeek and their Janus Pro 7B? Well, DeepSeek has already made waves with its reasoning model R1, which was a powerhouse in multimodal understanding. Now they've dropped a bombshell with Janus Pro 7B, a model that not only generates images, but also understands visuals better than any other AI I've seen. It's currently outpacing competitors like Dolly 3, SDXL, and PixArt in benchmarks. But what really sets Janus Pro 7B apart is its unified multimodal understanding. This means it can interpret images and generate high quality visuals in ways that blow traditional models out of the water. And the best part, you can access it for free and start playing with it right now. Let me show you how. Now there are two ways you can test out Janus Pro 7B. The first option is to run it locally, but I'll be honest, it's slow because of the model's size. Instead, I recommend using Hugging Face, where DeepSeek has made Janus Pro 7B freely available. I'll leave a link in the description so you can jump straight in. With Hugging Face, you can test Janus Pro 7B's multimodal understanding and text-to-image generation without needing crazy hardware. You just wait for the GPU to become available, and boom, you're ready to go. Let's start with multimodal understanding. I'm going to input a classic meme and ask Janus Pro 7B to explain it. Now here's where it gets interesting. AI can be hit or miss with memes, but Janus? It does a surprisingly good job. For example, I asked it to explain the famous Buff Dodge meme. Within seconds, Janus Pro 7B broke it down, describing the left side's robust visual encoding and how the right side represents a less powerful model. That's pretty impressive, right? And it only gets better when you compare it with GPT-4's DALI model, which, while good, didn't capture the same depth in its explanation. Now, let's move on to what we've all been waiting for, image generation. I am going to use the prompt, a cute and adorable baby fox with big brown eyes, autumn leaves in the background, enchanting, immortal, fluffy, shiny mane, petals, fairyism, Unreal Engine 5, and octane render, highly detailed, photorealistic, cinematic, natural colors. Let's see what Janus Pro 7B delivers. In just a few seconds, it generates multiple images with slight variations, all beautifully rendered and detailed. Honestly, I'm impressed by how well it adheres to the prompt. The images are of good quality and detailed, though not quite at the level of Dolly 3 just yet. Dolly still has the edge when it comes to overall realism and sharpness. But keep in mind, Janus Pro 7B is an open source model and with more updates on the way, I'm sure it's going to be a beast soon. The potential here is huge, and I'm excited to see where it goes. So, why does Janus Pro 7B stand out compared to models like Dolly 3 and SDXL? While Dolly 3 currently produces sharper, more realistic images, Janus Pro 7B excels in its versatility, thanks to its 7 billion parameters, which enable a more complex and nuanced understanding of both visuals and text. The quality isn't quite at Dolly's level yet, but it's impressive for an open source model. Plus, the fact that it's open source means it will continue to improve with updates, and I am confident it'll become a beast in the AI space soon. You can access the model, test it, and even integrate it into your own projects, all for free on Hugging Face. That's a big win for developers and creators looking for flexibility in their tools. So there you have it. DeepSeek's Janus Pro 7B is a strong contender, especially considering it's open source. Whether you're generating visuals or testing the limits of multimodal AI, this model is one to watch. The niche is still wide open for creators like you to explore and make your mark. If you want more videos like this, hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment if you'd like a deeper dive into how to run DeepSeek's models locally. Uh, I'll include links to Hugging Face and the GitHub repo in the description, so be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.